All right, so let's see if you have the math skills to figure out how to solve this math problem. So here is the question. Anne is three times older than her brother. In four years, she will be twice as old. How old is her brother now? All right, so that is the problem. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time. Anne is three times older than her brother. In four years, she will be twice as old as her brother. So the question is asking, how old is her brother right now? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct solution here is four years old. That is the brother's current age. All right, now, if you got this right, well, that is fantastic. You definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, this is very confusing. Matter of fact, my hair is standing up. How do you even solve this problem? Well, I'm going to be using algebra, all right? So we're, uh, we're really talking about an algebra word problem. But uh, this is not that difficult. And what we need to do here is just take things one step at a time. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. So the first thing that you want to do when you're faced with any math word problem, and I would suspect any problem in general, okay, is you want to really reflect on the problem. Before you start thinking about the solution, really kind of understand what the problem is. So I have this thing called the rule of three. It's what I suggest uh, students do when they're faced with a math word problem is read the problem at least a minimum of three times. Don't start doing anything uh, until you've you know read the problem three times. Now, the first time you read the problem, just get a sense of what's going on. The second time, start pulling in some details. The third time, really understand what the question is. Okay, so here we have Anne and her brother. Right? We're talking about two people, and we're comparing their ages uh, currently and in four years. So it's got a lot of you know good amount of moving parts to this problem. So Anne is three times older than her brother. In four years, she'll be twice as old. So you know I have to read that more than once. If not, it'd be kind of uh, confusing, right? I'm like, oh wait, hold on, what? You know, <laughs> say this again. But what is the question here? The question is, how old is her brother now? Okay. So again, we have the current age. We have the age in four years. We're dealing with two people. So you just can't read this problem one time and start doing stuff. Okay. So that's the first thing you want to do. Really understand the information in the problem. This next thing. And this is going to come to mind as you're reading this information. Your uh, brain is going to start getting creative. You're going to be like, okay, how can I model this situation? And there's all different uh, sorts of techniques you can use to visualize this or model this uh, problem. And one way is not necessarily any better than another uh, way. Um, I will say this, if you want to kind of um, use a guideline, okay, when you're studying algebra formally, uh, you may want to kind of incorporate the typical uh, ways to model problems like this. I'll show you this in just one second. But here's the thing. Whatever you do, just make sure someone can understand your work, like a teacher, okay, or someone else. So, you know, again, uh, you know, you could be as creative as possible, uh, creative as you like, um, but as long as uh, someone understands your work, that's kind of the big, you know, litmus test, if you will. All right. So what I'm going to do here is uh, use a typical type of graphic organizer for these type of problems in algebra. Now, how would you know this? Well, you just simply have to, you know, learn algebra, take, you know, do a lot of problems. But using a table of um, a table, okay, is a great uh, structure to model information, right? So there's different things going on here. We're talking about uh, two people and uh, their ages now and in four years. So we're like, well, how can we organize this information? How about a table? Okay, so we have Anne and her brother, okay? And then we have right now and four years from now. So this is kind of the situation. And now we need to start kind of, um, you know, figuring out, all right, well, if I got this structure uh, to organize this information, now we need to kind of use some algebra. Now, again, some of you can kind of guess and check or just try to you know, find a different uh, approach to solve this. But in algebra, 
Uh, the great thing about algebra is that we can solve for unknown values. And the unknown value here is how old her brother is now. Okay, so typically, not always, the uh, what you want to do in a um, algebra word problem is assign the variable to the question that's being asked. In other words, how old is her brother now? Maybe we can let the variable x equal the age of uh, her brother currently, right now. Okay, because if I do that, I would say, all right, well, if that's the case, I have now and four years from now. Maybe we put an X right here and let's say we're going to let X equal the brother's age right now. OK, and if, the, and if we got that down, then we can kind of build out the rest of this information. OK, so that's kind of a clue. And if you're like, all right, maybe I understand where this guy's going. Well, then so let's see if you can come up with the, the rest of the stuff that will be in this table. So Anne is three times older than her brother. All right. Now, again, we already signed the variable x for her brother. So think about what would go in this space right here, okay, right now. Okay, Anne is three times older than her brother, so hopefully you can figure that out. Now, once you have that, let's see if you can figure out their ages four years from now. And then, of course, we'll talk about how we'll actually solve the problem, but we can't do anything until we get this table filled out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the current situation. So Anne is three times, we have to keep referencing the problem, right? So the problem says Anne is three times older than her brother. Now, again, if, we, if we're going to let her brother, uh, brother's age be X right now, then Anne, uh, Anne's age is three X, three times X. That's three times older than her brother right now. Okay, so if, um, most of you are like, okay, I get this guy. I get this Mr. YouTube math man. He's explaining it step by step. Great. Okay. So that's the first part. And now what we want to do is think about their ages four, year, uh, four years from now. Okay. How can we express their ages four years from now? And hopefully this is pretty much kind of common sense. We're like, all right, four years from now, if this is their current age, right? Just think about if your age is 10 years old right now, what are you going to be uh, four years from now? So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. Okay. All right. So here is our current age. This is review, right? So the question is asking, how old is her, uh, Anne's brother right now? So we have now, four years from now, so we let that be X. We know currently right now, Anne is three uh, times uh, three times older than her brother. So that's three X, okay? So in four years from now, okay, she's gonna be her age right here plus four, okay? And then her brother is going to be whatever his age is, which is currently he's X, but he's going to be four years older. So in four years from now, this is going to be their ages. All right. Now we're going to uh, kind of get to the uh, big part or the next phase of this problem. And that is when you're uh, dealing with an algebra word problem, once you've kind of related all the information with variables, you can't solve for an unknown value unless you make an equation. We need to construct an equation, okay? Because without an equation, we can't solve for the variable. And that is what we're going to do next. Okay, so going back to the problem, we're going to be like, okay, Anna's three times older than her brother. In four years, she'll be twice as old. Wait a minute, that looks like useful information. In four years, she'll be twice as old. So we haven't used this information yet, okay? This twice as old part. So uh, when you're dealing with an algebra word problem, a math word problem, you have to go back to the problem again and be like, all right, I need to establish a relationship. I need to create an equation because without an equation, we won't be able to solve for that uh, value, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, equation, right? And I'm not gonna actually write the actual equation now, but we do know this from the problem that four years from now, Anne will be twice as old as her brother. So Anne's age will be is going to be the same as two times her brother's age. So this is the equation that we want to build. Okay. Now, of course, we're not going to use this. We're going to use the actual information from the table that we kind of constructed. But we know four years from now, Anne is going to be twice as old as her brother. Right. So. Uh, this is a big hint, and what you want to do is to construct an equation, 
Of course, I'm going to show you that, and then we're going to solve that equation. But before we do that, I would like you to solve the uh, problem that I'm having, and that is I don't have 10 billion subscribers coming to uh, my channel every day. And by you subscribing, that really does help me out. By the way, make sure to hit that notification button. My objective is to grow my channel as big as possible. It's like growing my classroom as big as possible. I'm obsessive about trying to help as many people as I possibly can learn mathematics. So this little tiny act uh, really goes a long, long way for me. So thank you so much because I know you're going to do that. And matter of fact, this is the way I look right now as you are subscribing. Okay, so back to the problem. All right, so now we have our lovely table of information. We're reading the problem multiple times. And we're like, okay, I got uh, my variable established, x, because this is what I'm looking to solve for, right? The brother's age right now. So I know that uh, Anna is three times uh, older than her brother currently. In four years, she'll be this, and her brother will be this. But I also know something from the problem, and that is in four years from now, Anne will be twice as old as her brother. So this is going to be kind of the secret that unlocks the solution. So let's uh, get uh, Anne's age in four years. What is Anne going to be in four years from now? She's going to be this age, 3x plus 4, okay? And what uh, is the brother's age four years from now? Okay, the brother is going to be x plus 4, okay? That's his age four years from now. But Anne is going to be twice as old as the brother. So if we double the brother's age, that's going to be the same as Anne's age. So two times whatever his age is, is going to be the same as Anne's age in four years. So this is the equation, okay? 3x plus 4, which is Anne's age four years from now, is equal to two times, or two times this, uh, the brother's age, which in four years is going to be x plus 4. All right, so if you understand this, then all we need to do is solve this lovely uh, linear equation, and that's what we call this in algebra. This is a one variable linear equation. But uh, anyways, even if you didn't know that, let's see if you have the math skills or algebra skills to solve this. All right, let's go ahead and get into it right now. So again, we're, the objective is to solve for x, which we know is the brother's age right now. So we have 3x plus 4 is equal to 2 parentheses x plus 4. Now in algebra, when you have parentheses, like a sum or a difference, something like this, a number outside of a parentheses where there's a variable, inside. This is the first thing you want to do, which is the distributor property. Now, I'm covering a lot of algebra here, and if a lot of you are just like, oh my goodness, this guy's already kind of blown up my brain. I'm going to go back to football in video games. Those are so much better than this. Listen, uh, all you need to do is just, you know, get better at your algebra skills and better at uh, algebra word problems. I have a ton of additional algebra word problems on my site, but if you need to kind of work on your basic algebra skills, check out my pre-algebra or algebra one courses. I'll leave links to those in the description. Okay, so back to the problem. So here we have to take this two, multiply it by x, that's two x, and then two times four is eight. All right, now at this point in the problem, kind of the main objective is we wanna get all the variables to the left and all the numbers to the right. Okay, this is how we solve linear equations. So we got to move this 2x over here, and we got to move this 4 over there. And uh, we're just going to take it one step at a time. Okay, so let's go ahead and move that 2x over to the left-hand side. So remember in algebra, whatever you do to one side of the equation, as long as you do the exact same thing to the other side of the equation, you are okay. So we're going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation that we're going to add down in a column manner. So 3x minus 2x is x, 4 plus nothing is 4, 2x minus, uh, 2x minus 2x is 0. We don't need to write that. And then 8 plus nothing is 8. All right, so I'm down to x plus 4 is equal to 8. So now all I need to do is to move that number, move 4 over to the other side of the equation. So we're simply going to subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. And then, of course, we'll add down in a column manner. And we end up with x is equal to 4. x is equal to 4. Now, some of you might be like, that's so much work. You know, this is why I don't like math. Well, listen, okay, you know, math or algebra, you know, it's, it's not like it, you can't do this, right? But not every problem is going to be easy. And, you know, algebra word problems kind of have a bad reputation, a notorious reputation to be challenging. You can do these things. You just have to be patient 
and you know practice okay but is it going to require effort yes indeed okay i don't know any quick fast shortcuts if i did if i knew these secret math shortcuts you know in algebra i would share them with you but i've been doing this for decades and decades and teaching and i made all the mistakes i have not found those secret shortcuts yet okay but i'll <laughs> you'll be the first to know as soon as i found out all right or as soon as i find out all right so here is uh, our answer x is equal to four but after all this work we have to don't do the make make a mistake in especially a lot of algebra word problems is that okay i'm going to turn on my answer and even though this is the correct answer what does it represent and do we answer the right question because the question was okay or is let's go back up to the actual question how old is her brother right now okay so we got x is equal to four we're like okay let me go back to my little chart up here so her brother right now will be whatever x is oh yeah we just saw for x x is equal to four bingo there is the solution okay so i hope this video helped you out and if that's the case don't forget to like and subscribe now if you need additional help in algebra check out these courses right here so pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra but uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.